Hey everybody, it's your at Large Badger Media. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Got myself a, a little do-it-yourself uh, gift, bundle, gift bundle, a Bloomboro. Um, this is actually my first bundle and my first uh, collector's pack of Bloomboro. Matter of fact, this is my first opening of any Bloomboro material. Um, this is a weekend, the first weekend of um, Bloomboro. Um, I did not pre-order or play any stuff last weekend on the pre-release or anything. Um, or this weekend, so, um, and I normally don't, which which is fine. So, um, I, I'm excited about this product, but I haven't gone out of my way to go and get it. I feel like it's something that's going to be available. You can say whatever about the collector stuff. Um, these are, um, I believe I got both of these at Walmart anyway, so, you know, it is what it is. So, um, I've not been to my, my uh, local LGS since, uh, I don't know, I just said local, local, but that's all right. Since earlier in the week, and um, they are not a WPN store, so they had not put anything out yet. Matter of fact, I don't think that they had received anything yet um, of this product, which is fine. Since I'll be by there and get some stuff soon. Um, I am excited about it. I just, it's just one of those things where, um, you know, like I've said in some previous videos, I just started back to work, and uh, work is taking up all my time. I thought these had a pull tab on them, but that does, definitely does not appear to be the case here. Or pull tabs fail, brute strength wins out, right? So there we go. A lot of goblin snot there on the collector pack, which is right here. It didn't go anywhere. It's just super sticky. I'll get right there. And then these, fortunately, do have little pull tabs on them, which makes them super easy to get out. I'm excited to get me some badgers or some. That's, a, that's an interesting thing to be inside of there. Um, and some frogs and what have you. So there's the box. There's the back of the box. The die looks pretty cool. So there's a cool little picture. So pretty spiffy. Alright, and there's the box itself. With otters and frogs and etc. Oh my. Alright. Wow, what the heck happened to this thing? Huh. Has anybody, did they just like cram this in here? Like, do you see this? Holy smokes. Like somebody just got it and like, let's just cram that in there. Huh. That's crazy. I mean, you saw it was sealed. I mean, it was obviously somebody, <laughs> obviously somebody wizard just crammed the damn thing in there. That's, that's crazy. Huh. I've never seen anything be so manhandled like that for before in a uh, in a wizard's product like that. It's just I just I don't even know what to say about it. So here's the dice, pretty cool dice. There's a little paw print symbol on this. Put this back in here. We're gonna roll for a lucky 13, and we're gonna get a lucky 11. So that's a really cool dice. I like that. And I'll start with these. I don't know what the insert card is. I actually haven't seen any bundles opened. On any channels yet. I've seen lots of collector boxes and a, even a play box or two, but none of these yet. I have seen the lands. The lands are pretty cool. Oh, okay, they're all full art. Alright, well, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't know if it's going to be all full art or not. Apparently, they're all full art, so that's pretty cool. I do like that. I'm going to put that there somewhere. So, this should be the foil ones and the uh, whatever our special insert card is. And it is gonna be the Thundercat, I'm sorry, the Thunder Trap Trainer Otter Wizard. So cool. And then these should all be just the foily, foily foilies, the shiny lands. So there we go, I'm just gonna stick him there for the moment. All right, so let's dig in and see what we can find here. I've seen lots of cool stuff online. Um, those little gilded foils or whatever they're officially being called are pretty cool. Um, you're not going to find any in these uh, play boosters, but you know we never know what we're going to find in in um, our little collector's pack here. Since we're making our own little homemade gift bundle here, all right. And I'm going to be just a little persnickety here at the at the beginning, just trying to get my uh, my uh, piles laid out where I want them. So here we go with our first one. We have the Whisker Veil Forerunner Mouse Bard. Okay, and that's it. And then we got another land. 
a shiny dagger fang duo rat squirrel and the steam path charger lizard warlock token that was a lot of words all right there we go next one and um, i'll fill out just a hair with these just in case you haven't seen some of these cards yet but um i think there's plenty of places to see them and other people opening them and so forth I've got an art card in the back there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Yeah. That's cool. Got the spell gyre. Oh, okay. You can counter for four. Okay. So in your, you can surveil. All right. Gossip's talent. And then we have the Sun Spire Links. Of the Mythic. My first one. We've got the Otter Ball Elite. I don't know if that's a particularly spicy Mythic, but a Mythic's a Mythic, right? So a couple that time. Oh, okay, here we go, with a shiny rare with the uh, Possum Druid. I don't know if Matt's done anything extra special for this set with possums, like he did in uh, in Outlaws or not, because I don't know how many possums are in this set. I don't know if this is possum heavy or not. Okay, I'm going to pick it up just a hair. And there we go. There's that, and the Lily Splash Mentor. Uncommon into another rare. Salvation Swan. And land. In the what is this? The Corsication Mage. Otter Wizard again. Huh. That's something new. Alright, the Wax Wing Witness. Bat Cleric. Into our Curious Forger. Another Stormcatch Mentor Otter Wizard and Iridescent Vine Lasher Lizard Assassin. Okay, with another land and some food. All right, that's cool. I don't remember actually seeing a food token out of this. So let me know how I'm doing on this. Let me know what your adventures were. Just if you've been uh, playing any pre-release or you've been opening your own product, and let, let me know what you got and what you like and. What kind of, you know, have you made your first full animal deck yet? Or a tribal deck with one of the uh, <clears throat> animal groups? Okay, here we go. The Manifold Mouse. Mouse Soldier. And the Anna Land. So, not hitting... Pretty crazy mouse. Like a BDSM mouse or something. I don't know. Pretty crazy stuff. I was listening to POA today. Um... And he was talking about how, or was it, uh, maybe, oh no, you know what, it was the professor. I was listening to the professor, I mean, I was listening to POA too, but I was listening to the professor talk about how he, they feel like Watsi took this set more seriously, even though it has, you know, a different kind of, um, you know, this this more like animally art, but they took this set very seriously. So there's Cruel Claws Heist with our, I guess, uh, showcase rare there. And another Schwamp. Tinder Wild Guide and Savor the Foil. Alright, so down to the last three on this. So I thought that was a real interesting take. He felt like um, Outlaws, they kind of just, they, they were like too um, too jokey with it. And so he thought that maybe that's why it didn't do as well. I mean, I personally think Outlaws is a great set. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like they were, took it non serious or not. I don't know if he's partial because this is still kind of in like a fantasy setting. So, hard to say. Oh, there we go. Method, the infamous Cruel Claw. I think this is one of the, the better hits out of here. So, I will definitely take that into a land. And Splash Lasher again. And the Three Tree Root Weaver, Mole Druid. So that tree, th the Three Tree, I think it's City. It's, it looks like a pretty decent card. I've seen that one a couple times. And people online getting happy about it so i'm assuming that's pretty decent i honestly haven't looked a whole whole lot into this set i'm just kind of ready to really look at it and get it going there's the valley flood caller and land i have not pulled multiple rares so i don't know if they've lowered i've noticed this too with them when i've seen other people pull these this is the last one of these when I've seen other people um, open these uh, playbooks online, is that there's not uh, there's not as many of the uh, the multiple rares in these boxes, which is very interesting. 
All right, there's the Three Tree Scribe. There's the Harbinger. The Brazen Collector. The Raccoon Rogue. Here we go with one more rare. The Dream Do Enhancer Frog Wizard. And that's it. Interesting. The Plume Creed Mentor Bird Scout. All right, well, here we go. Let's jump into this super gooey, like, it's that, I mean, it's got sticky stuff on top and on bottom. Um, collector booster here that I've made for my personal gift bundle. And let's see what we get. Whew, that's sticky. All right, so it looks like the good stuff's on top. So we'll do a flippy around here. All right, we've got the Curious Forger. And some uncommons. There we go. And the dagger fang. <laughs> Run away together. That's a reprint. And there we go. There's some food. And there we go. The luge, the shoreless sea in the, uh, uh, what was that called in uh, Brothers War in the uh, schematic showcase there. Mythic. That's cool. And then a rare Starfall Invocation. Got the Azure Beast Binder, Rat Rogue, and Calamity of Cinders, and then one more, the Festival of Embers. So there you go. If this is your first look at this product, I um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me on this little trek myself into my first foray um, into Bloomboro. Um, I look forward to opening some more of this. Um, I really want to build a Badger deck, although like Badgers are kind of weird in this set. Um, but you know, if I could have gotten a Monty Python thing, they were sold out within the eight hours that it took me to, you know, to get home, but that's neither here nor there. So, you know, if you have some, some feelings about that, let me know as well in the, in the comments. Otherwise, give me a, a like, subscribe, you know, in the comment section, let me know what you really think, whether it be about this product, your experiences, or the Monty Python, like, you know, hose on, that everybody got. All right, y'all take care. I'll talk to you next time.